I'm Clinton Griffiths with today's Ag Day Minute. The conflict in Ukraine, two years of La Nina and drought stress across major growing regions of the world as global crop supplies running tight. Now, according to a report from the Wall Street Journal, executives at some of the U.S. largest agribusinesses say the short supplies will require at least two more years of good harvests in the Western Hemisphere to ease the pressure. Now, even as harvest picks up pace, the latest USDA forecast puts corn production 8% below 2021. Futures prices for wheat are up roughly 17% over the past 12 months. Corn prices up about 28% and soybeans 14. Now in the U.S., farmers aren't making most of their money at home, according to a new report from the University of Missouri. 82% of U.S. farm household income now comes from off-farm sources. But why? Well, farmers cited reliable income as the top reason for that off-farm employment. Half of farm households report negative farm income in a typical year. Another reason for an off-farm job, health and retirement benefits. And if you'd like to be healthier, walk faster. A new study looking at activity tracker data it says that walking at a brisk pace for 30 minutes a day led to reduced risk of heart disease, cancer, dementia, and death when compared to slow walkers. For more Ag News, watch Ag Day weekdays on the station or anytime at agweb.com.